Hi, I'm Payam from Payam Data Recovery. I'd like, you, like to show you two interesting cases that we've been working on this week at our Data Recovery Lab here in Sydney. The first one is down here, it's an Apple Mac SSD. Now this SSD over here is actually one that there's nothing physically wrong with it, and the black one there is the SSD from an Apple MacBook computer. And we've converted it using this adapter to serial ATA, and it's connected to a program here called PC3000 SSD. That's just basically this red colored PCI Express card with the software. Now this is a Russian-based data recovery software and tool that's been around for I think about 20 years now. It allows us to upload a loader to the SSD, which is like a temporary version of the firmware, because this SSD actually just doesn't get detected, it doesn't get recognized, and it malfunctioned just on its own. So our customer told us the computer was working, and then it just stopped working at a flashing folder with a question mark. The SSD just wasn't being detected by any computer using computer in target mode or any kind of adapter. And even on our adapter, it doesn't get detected, it just stays busy. But when you upload a loader to it, and the, the screen that you see there on the left is actually just on imaging or copying the data off that drive now. It copies very slowly. Uh, there may be some damage files, but hopefully bit, at least 90% of the data will be recovered successfully. Another interesting case that we received, if you look very carefully right here next to my finger, is a gold colored USB flash drive, a little tiny flash drive. It looks like a little dog, dog's head on there. Now this is actually plugged into a converter that converts USB to IDE, which then goes to our PC3000, and that's what you see here at the moment. It's all green, which means good data is being copied, except for that part over there, but now it's copied it. Now that USB flash drive is an interesting one. It doesn't actually get detected. Sorry, I'm really bad at this. I'm, I'm my own cameraman with a selfie stick today. That USB flash drive doesn't get detected anywhere. It doesn't seem to be malfunctioning at all but when we use that adapter and convert it from USB to IDE without any other kind of special tools or functions or special software we're just using the PC3000 as a cloning or data copying tool and we set the reading speed to very very slow speed and it's copying all the data very slowly so with data recovery cases that we see one one solution or one kind of fix doesn't fix everything often we get inquiries from customers who say that they've done their own data recovery work and that it should be really simple and they've done this kind of problem before and, and then we give them a quote for example for a thousand Australian dollars and they say oh well that's you know too expensive you know I've done the same thing many times and it should only take you five minutes that's not true every case is a little bit different some things are quick and easy but most things that we get are not so but you get what you pay for and when you pay a professional data recovery company like ours you pay for our experience and our time and we've been doing this for over 20 years, so there's not much that we can't fix. And at least you're in good hands. If you do send something to us, you know that we're going to take it seriously. We're not going to give up on it. We'll treat it as if it's our own device and we're not going to basically just quit. We'll, we'll experiment. We'll try different things until we get something that works. So I hope you found that interesting. Thanks.